Hey guys, what's up? I'm back for another commentary. It's Killer Prodigy. Um, you're gonna TDM on Array using the AK-47 with a crossbow secondary, and yes, I'm using something different for once. And I just, I just played this game yesterday, and I love this class. I like literally love this class. Um, they're double kill, don't know how I got it, no, I didn't see the second guy with the AK. The AK, I've been really experimenting with the AK, I've tried it with Warlord, never really had success with it, and stopped using it for a while, but right now with the class I got with it now, I hear, trying to take that guy and I'm getting a random, random kill, to come into Sentex, but I've been really experimenting with it, I love this class with it. Um, like, as you can see, I, got, I have this extended mags on it, and I used to use that with the, uh, what's it called, the, the silencer, the silencer. But it just didn't seem like it worked out, and one thing I missed, like, when I used the silencer is, like, the sound of the gun. The AK has, like, one of the best sounding guns. It's, like, one of the best sounding guns. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. That was, I got really excited when I saw that. That was a completely random crossbow that I shot. I got it stuck on. But, anyways, yeah, the, it just, the AK is like one of the best sounding guns out there. It's like, it's one of the best sounding guns out there, and it just, something about the sound just didn't seem right, and then a good start. That guy, I was shocked I got a stick on, because he was like lagging around, and, I don't know. But, yeah, like, the, the sound of the AK is just, it's such a beautiful sound, and I really missed that with it. So I thought, I decided that I'll just take out the silence to see what happens, and put sleight of hand on. Especially saying that sleight of hand, as many people will say, is a very popular perk. It's one of the most useful perks out there. It's probably the most useful perk out there. And most people use it, so it's like, I'll just put this on and see what happens, and this is what I got. This is like my third game with it, it was, and it was my best game so far with this class. Um, got the nice drop shot there for the Blackbird. Caught it immediately. You can see I'm using Scavenger. It's like the first time I used Scavenger at all. This got completely fails in the night. And I run away here. Just I didn't have the. I felt. I didn't feel like I had the. The proper engagement there, and I run away and turn around with the Blackbird. But anyways, I haven't used Scavenger like at all this game. Like the most. I want to say, like, one of the most popular perks in Modern for 2 was Scavenger, like, a lot of people had the Scavenger with the stopping power steady game type thing, or Ninja, but it just, this game doesn't seem like you need Scavenger, like, at all, but I decided to put it on, especially with the crossbow, because I wanted to use the crossbow a little bit, and, but the crossbow is a fun weapon to use, and I can buy a claymore that I completely saw my hacker, and I can see knife, I knife with little frustration, not that much, though. But, yeah, I just didn't see a need for scavenger at all in this game. I just pick up other people's weapons most of the time, which I guess I could do in, um, well, I'm lagging a lot, but, yeah, so, I don't know, like, I could have done that in Mono for 2, but I don't know, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just something about it. Um they run around here the dogs are out and as you know by a lot of my other commentaries I love the dogs I use the dogs all the time give me a lot of my kills um here get the crossbow out crossbow I'm telling you guys you gotta try it out sometime it's a very fun weapon to use and man I'm lagging like a motherfucker Jesus Christ man, I don't really can I have four bars too I don't know why I'm eating him one that's all that matters. And, you know, one thing I noticed, like, I've been playing a lot of, t a lot of TDM past couple of, wow, did you guys see that? Jesus Christ. I've been playing a lot of TDM, mostly because of the lobbies I get into. And I said in one of my, my last commentary I just did, that it, it just, I get into lobbies with the, no, the most noobish players you can probably possibly find. Like, as you can like see like those levels right there, 46, 50, 39 of no prestige, and then you see their scores 2 and 10. Like 
you guys just realize I don't pick who I play against. So I'm going to get games like this a lot if I keep getting into lobbies like this. Even in like other game types like Demolition, I still get into lobbies like this. Like One rumor, not really a rumor I guess, but one thing people like to say is that people like, especially with commentators, they always complain to commentators that the reason why you got into a, a noob lobby is because you don't prestige. Okay guys, I want you to see this. I am ninth prestige and look at the lobby I'm in. So I just want, just want you guys to know that. That it does not matter what prestige you are. It's just completely random on who they pick. And so, and one thing I've noticed guys is that like, a lot of people are getting bored with this game. I can like, I've been watching some commentaries of other um, commentators and right there I did not say guys, you can see I was looking completely straight, which I should not have been completely mistaken on my part. But yeah, a lot of people are getting bored with this game, which is understandable, you know, and people like to play other games and whatnot. But one thing I kind of, I don't even want to say I noticed, I just part of actually right here, this part's pretty cool, I get the, the bow kill, and then I get the Sentex kill on someone completely different, that was pretty cool. But, like, one thing I know is that a lot of people that get bored of this game are people that don't prestige. And I, I feel that if you don't prestige, you, and you got all the guns and all the perks and stuff, there's nothing else you can much, there's not much you can do. There's not much left you can do at all. So, I, I feel like I don't get bored of this game as much because I prestige, like, there's always something for me to do, get this gun, get this perk, get to this level and whatnot. So, I, I, that's just my opinion, guys. You guys can completely disagree with me if you think otherwise, but that's just my kind of thought process on why people get bored with Call of Duty. Because it is a fun game to play, you know. Always fun just to kill people and run around. And you know, There's like so many things you can do with this game. Oh, and this is right here. You can see it froze, and this would have been a lot better game than it was, but the host leaves, or well, we lose connection to him, and this is the end of the game. But I almost completely forgot. We actually, you know, I guess we won or whatever, but I go 24 and 5 before the host migration that I did not get in, so that's the end of the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate and subscribe. Peace out.